Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your girl, Sunsetting Waves, coming at you once again on the YT. And um, as you guys know, I have straightened my hair to trim it. Um, also, I wanted to share with you guys because, you know, I'm not really somebody who's always styling straight hair. And I don't want to put a lot of heat on it, you know. Um, as you can see, it's a little poofier because my hair is already trying to revert back in some respects. I tend to wear a lot of buns when I have my hair in a straight style after I trim it. I tend to wear a lot of buns. So, I'm going to show you two of the buns that I'll be rocking while my hair is straight. So, some of the things that you will need, okay? Um, you will need Marley hair. Not a lot, just like these two pieces. This was already previously twisted. That's why it looks like that. But, you know, you will leave, need, you know, two long pieces of Marley hair about this diameter, okay? So, this is what you will need. That's one thing. All right, you will need um, some type of moisturizer. Okay, so um, today for this um, purpose, I'm going to use the Curl Control Defining Pudding. Okay, so moisturizer. You're going to need some grease. Get your grease. Get that old school grease on. So I'm going to be using the Blue Magic Coconut Oil Hair Conditioner. Okay, it's pretty much a grease. I'm going to be using that. Um, you also are going to need a pomade, okay? So, um, I'll be using the hair, um, hair polisher solid ice pomade just to give a little bit of hold. It's not going to offer that much hold, but it'll do the job. Um, you will need a brush, okay? As well as a bristle brush, okay? Um, a comb. Okay, wide tooth comb, elastic band, and a few bobby pins. First, you're going to take the Marley, the Marley hair that you have, okay? You're going to leave it in its long form. You're not going to cut it when you get it out the package. You're going to leave it in its long form. And one thing that's great is I've retwisted. I only bought one pack of not Marley hair a few, like the summer, and I just retwist it when I feel like it looks a little shabby, and it brings it right back to life. So how do I twist it? Okay, so now you're going to use the moisturizer that you have, all right? Mine is the Curl Control Defining Pudding, okay? So whatever moisturizer you have, you're going to take that. I'm going to take some some of it in your hand, okay? You're going to put it on the Marley hair. So you're just going to rub this through here, all right? And I'm going to do it one more time. Rubbing it through there, okay? Just to get some product on the Marley hair, okay? So I'm going to do that. All right, so now I'm going to add some grease also. So I'm going to rub it between the palms of my hands. And I'm just going to go sliding it down through the Marley hair again. Sliding it down through the Marley hair. Just to give it some shine because Marley hair tends to have a dull look. So I'm sliding it down through the Marley hair. Okay? I'm going to take the top two pieces of the Marley hair like this. Okay? And I'm going to begin to twist. All right? As you can see, I'm twisting, okay? I'm going to twist this all the way down to make it all one piece of hair. This is how your twist should look. It should look like one long twist when you're done, okay? Okay, so first I'm going to show you how I do the top knot bun. I moved to the bathroom because I was having difficulty doing the tutorial using the laptop. You know, as my mirror, because I can't really see. So I'm going to show you. I hope you guys can. First thing I'm going to do is take down a bit of my hair. Okay? So I'm going to take about this much of my hair out. This is optional, but this is just how I prefer to do it. So I'm going to take some of my hair out and... I'm going to brush my hair up into a ponytail and I'm going to rub some of the pomade on my hair, okay, in the front. So I'm going to rub some pomade on the front and the back of my hair. I didn't bring the bristle brush so I won't be using that. I didn't bring it into the bathroom. 
but I would then smooth up with the bristle brush, okay? So now that my hair is in a ponytail, I put it in the highest ponytail that I can fit, as forward as I can get it, okay? So you're going to put it in the most forwardest ponytail that you can do. Alright, so I'm going to put my hair in the ponytail. Alright, so my hair is in the ponytail. It's in an ultra high ponytail. Alright, so I have some pieces in the back that might be falling down a little bit because the ponytail is so high and my hair is not long enough. I'll just bobby pin those pieces. Then I'm going to hold my hair up and I'm going to bring it down. All right. And these pieces, the shorter pieces of my hair, I just force them all the way down. And I'm going to get a bobby pin and hold it back. All right. And fan it out. All right. And leave it like that. So you see how it's fanned out? That's going to start the foundation of the top knot bun. I hope you guys can see that. Okay. So it's fanned out at the top. I fanned it out. All it is is one bobby pin right now. Okay, so I'm going to turn around. That's how it looks from the back. Okay, so I hope you guys can see that. That Marley hair, I'm going to fold it in half like this. Okay, so I folded the Marley hair in half. And I'm going to bring it to the back on the base. Okay, and then I'm going to bobby pin one side of the Marley hair. And I'm going to bobby pin the other side of the Marley hair. Okay. Keep make sure that stays fanned out and adjust the bun to your liking. Okay. Adjust the bun to your liking. And so that's how the back looks. Hope you guys can see that. And this is how the front looks. Then this piece of hair, you can either just have it laid out like that. Okay, this is the top knot bun. You can either have it laid out like this. Or you can scoop it up like this. Alright? So, that's how the top knot bun looks. I hope you guys can see that. I think it's kind of cute. And like I said... You can pin your hair back like this and wear it like that, okay? So that would be my top knot bun. And that's it in natural lighting. And I think it's cute. So now I'm going to show you how I do the donut bun, okay? The bun, I take the strand of the same strand of Marley hair and I start here at a base. Bobby pin that base and now I'm going to wrap around. Now when you wrap it around, don't do it tightly or on top of each other. Try to, you know, make a, a circle. Try to go outside of each other like a spiral, kind of like a center bun. Okay, so don't do it on directly on top of each other. Keep going on the outward motion. Alright, so that's how I wrap it around. So I keep going on the outward motion. Okay, so do you can you see how it's not on top of each other? It's kind of going out around the parameter. Okay? Like a Cinnabon. Okay, so now I take that hair and I fan it out. Alright? Then I get the brush. And I brush it so that it's fanned out in a way that it's evenly distributed. Okay, so I'm fanning it out with the brush. Like I said, the bang is optional. So it's fanned out. Then, I push it under the Marley hair. The Cinnabon that we created. I push it under there. Alright? All the way around I do that. So... I find a spot and I just push it under there. Push the hair under there. 
Okay. Push the hair under. In the back. Push the hair under. On the sides, push the hair under the center bun. Okay, so the hair has been pushed under the Marley Twist center bun. Then I get the bobby pins. And I secure the hair that was pushed under. Just secure it all the way around. And that's my bun, my donut bun. Here, bang to the back. And that's pretty much my donut bun. That's how I do it. All right, this is the bun in the lighting. Okay, and these are the t pretty much the two buns that I rock when um, my hair is straight and I really don't know what to do with my hair. Okay, so this is it. I hope that was helpful. Your girl, Sunset and Waves. Peace. Bye, y'all.